Hi! In this episode we'll set up REC application and learn basics about environment variable and REC request object. If you want to learn more about REC, visit my course Ruby MVC Framework from scratch, where I dive into some details about REC. So let's get started. So let's create in code folder, I'm gonna create a new folder, I call it 01REC. And inside of it, I'm going to create config.ru file for RECAP. And I need to create folder for that. So here we're going to run application. And for REC to run, we need to provide method proc or lambda or class which responds to call method. So let's start from simple lambda. And it takes environment variable in which we'll see all the information about request. And this lambda must return an array of three elements. The first element is the status code. The second one is the hash of headers. So for example, content type header to be text slash HTML. And the third one is an array which contains response. So for example, hello. So let's save it and let's start server. For that, we go to terminal. Let's CD into our rec folder and run recap config.ru. And that will use WebRig by default. And we can go now to the local host port 9292. And here it is. We have our hello. Another way to see what's going on is to make requests with curl. So let's try this out. I'm going to go to the separate tab here. And I will make the curl request to HTTP localhost port 9292. And you can see that it returned hello here. So if I want to see all the details about the headers and request and response, I use the dash V. And now I can see that it actually responds with status 200 and with content type of text HTML. And after all of this meta information, we have the content itself. Good. So the last question is, what does this env variable contain? This one. So let's return it in response to have a look. So instead of this hello here, I'm going to return environment to string and save it. And after changing config.ru file, we must restart rec to see changes. So we go back here and the first tab, I'm going to restart server. And here, let's try it again. And now you can see we have all information we possibly need about request right here in this variable. So if we add some parameters or so change the type of the request from get to post, for example, so now we have the request method here as get, and we add some parameters, we'll see these changes. So let's have a look. Instead of this, we will do the post request and we do it with curl with the dash x post and then we provide with dash d data and let's say name ram. Okay, now if we try it out, you'll see that request method changed to post but we can't see any parameters I provided. To work with request comfortably, rec provides request object which is instantiated with environment variable. So let's see how we can use it. So right here, instead of environment, we will take rec request dot new environment. And now we have the request, which actually has, for example, params attribute, which we can right now convert to string and see how it looks like. So let's have a look. Again, I need to restart it. And now if I do the same thing here, you will see that I have my hash of parameters, name, ram. Excellent. So rec request is a very convenient way to work in with request. And for example, we can also make sure that it is a post request, but making post and also to string just to make sure that we have it. So let's try it out. And you can see, true, it's post request. Excellent. So these are basics of REC and REC request. Now we have the ability to communicate with server and manage its request and response. So it's time to implement the basic HTTP authentication. So thank you very much for your time and see you in the next episode.